So now we've got the move the way we want. We're going to let this cool down naturally. And we'll come back and reinstall this and see if our uh, distance is set properly so that our, our tubes clear a little better. On the water pump housing, now that we've determined that we're good with our location on these, we're just putting these in by a finger. Now, these actually come with lock washers. And that's right from the factory. If you're going to reinstall brand new lock washers, then by all means, uh, go right ahead and you won't need any Loctite. Uh, but just because we're not installing some new lock washers, we're just going to use a, just a touch of the blue Loctite while reinstalling here. And that will, I mean, the, the, the lock washers are still in pretty good shape, but this will just reinsure that we're going to be nice and firm in here. And always remember that the one with the copper washer is at the very bottom. It needs the extra washer, this the extra soft washer, in order to retain a really good seal. We, we, we love Rotax motors. We're, we're big fans of them. And quite a few of our customers are favoring these motors, which is good in my opinion. So, it's nice to have an install video. These engines require probably a little more work to install than what the Jabru ones do. And the Jabru is you know, a good nice engine as well. But some of the benefits you get from the Rotax, being it's, it's also a certified motor, and it's a very, very light motor with a great amount of torque and the capability of swinging a large prop. Having all those capabilities within this um, does make this motor a real performer. So we have a few extra things to do with it that uh, you wouldn't normally have. But some of these are, are also good features. Having the liquid cooling it eliminates the, uh, the shock cooling issue on uh, descent. So, you know, it, uh, it does have benefits. The extra work is worth it. No, I'm not going to put the O-ring back in just yet. Okay, okay we're going to leave this off for a bit. And because I can easily access it through here. There's lots of room in the back here to be able to move stuff in and out. So, okay, so we've just insta reinstalled the water pump housing and just finger tight. So what we want to do now is we really want to have a quick look at how our pipes are going to lay. So we reinstall and look at that. Okay, we see that our angle is in a little better and it looks like it's going to clear a whole lot nicer. So with it sitting like that, we'll now reinstall everything. We're going to put a little bit of blue Loctite on these bolts in the back. Just a little bit. And uh, see how it all really lays out when it's done. Alright, so one of the troublesome parts of, of installing the Rotex situ uh, motor is to ensure that you have it as level and as center line and straight as possible on the mount fixtures. So we have the steel mounts attached to the motor and now we're attaching them to the aluminum mounts which are part of the bed and held by the lowered mounts. We've centered the motor, we've checked all the angles and we're really happy with where it's sitting right now. So what we've done here